I'm going to provide a short video to show you how to set up a compressor within Aspen. So you want to uh, choose Aspen Tech as the folder. There are a lot of programs within Aspen and we're going to just work with Aspen Plus and we want to open the Aspen Plus user interface. I like to work with templates. Templates will set some units and uh, choose often a base uh, thermodynamic model method. You can see that if I choose general with English units, the units that I'm going to get for um, pressure, temperature, and flow. You can see property method um, is none, and I will be asked, prompted later, if I choose this template for a property method. If I choose uh, chemicals with metric units, you can see the units of temperature, pressure, and flow. The property method will be the NRTL activity coefficient method with an ideal gas vapor phase. If I choose gas processing, um, the units are again displayed and the property method will be Ping-Robinson equation of state. We will use that uh, for this demo. You can also choose the run type and in this case flow sheet is appropriate for a flow problem. For a flow sheet problem, I want to start by setting up the flow sheet. I want the model library to be visible, and you can find that under View Model Library, or use the F10 key. And a, I want to add a uh, compressor, which will be a pressure changer. Uh, pr compressors and turbines use the same operation in Aspen. Um, you'll see later where I specify the type of device. The graphical uh, symbols that I put on the template don't necessarily specify the way the unit will operate. So don't be misled by thinking you're choosing a compressor or a turbine just by the change in the icon. All right. Now I can uh, use this tool um, to select things within the um, flow sheet and I can add material streams with this tool. You'll notice that the arrows turn red for required connections. And I've got a required feed and a required product stream from this compressor. If I hover over the other arrows, I can see other opportunities for connections. And I won't need that connection uh, for a water decant in this example. All right, my connectivity, I believe, is complete. And um, it, the next button can be used um, to move to the next required item. You can see that it does uh, tell me that my connectivity is complete. All right, now it's going to step me through a series of um, folders. The red ones are required that are underspecified. The blue ones are OK. There are options here where I can give more information. Um, this is the um, specifications uh, sheet, and it's good to give your, your system a title. It's not required, but recommended. And I always like to put something in the description tab. This information is visible as I browse um, folders when I And then you can know what's in a file without opening it if you've kept good notes. I also will often like to work with report options. In a report option for stream output, you can specify that you'd like to see mole fractions, for example. Um, if I click the next button, it will take me to the next required item. In this case, I need to specify components. I'm going to turn off the model library so you can see there's a find button here where I can do searching by name or by chemical structure or by chemical formula. I'm going to work with ethane today and for simple components 
you can uh, accidentally, accidentally hit something. For simple, simple components, you can just type in the name. You also can specify the databases to be used for property information, and the default uh, databases will be fine today. Now, I'm, because I chose a template, the Ping Robinson was pre-selected, but I always have the option of choosing the thermodynamic model, and you can see a lot of choices are available. The types of choices will be determined by the template, and there are even more choices than this. Ideal will be the ideal gas law, and we're going to use the Ping Robinson, which was pre-selected by the template. Okay, now I'm going to specify the inlet stream. Stream 1 is the inlet. And I'm going to specify an inlet of 25C and 1 bar. And let me pick a flow. I'm going to go um, 10 moles a second. And I'm going to specify a composition. So I'll choose a mole fraction and set that to 1. All right. And now I'm ready to specify the uh, compressor. You can see I mentioned that the compressor and the turbine are both um, in the same unit operation. You use the radio buttons to specify which. I'm going to use the isentropic type, which is the type that is uh, typically discussed in uh, undergraduate thermodynamics textbooks. I can specify the compressor several ways. I will specify the discharge pressure. Let's compress to 5 bar. The isentropic efficiency can be specified. So let's make it 85%. Sometimes uh, the compressors have additional mechanical efficiencies, such as um, losses due to linkages or motors, and that can be added in this box. All right, so now Aspen has all the information it needs to perform the run. All right. Now, in the background, well, let's look at this first. I've got an option when a run is completed to do a capital costing. I'm going to close that right now. Uh, this is called the control panel, which gives me information about the run that you can see any warnings or errors are obvious, and I can follow up to learn more if something didn't go right. Now, if I'm interested in looking at the results, there are several ways to step through the information. For a simple device like this, I can right-click on it, and I can choose Results. You can see that it's a vapor phase calculation. The uh, device is sized to be 52.4 kilowatts um, for my flow rate. The efficiency is 85% uh, as I specified. The outlet pressure is 5 bar. The outlet temperature is 117.3 uh, Celsius. If the device was reversible, that the outlet temperature would have been 105. Now I also can look for stream results, which is uh, a nice way to look at inlets and outlets. And so stream 1 is the inlet, and you can see information about the enthalpy flows. And in my case, I ask it for mole fractions. With one component, its mole fraction is 1. I want to show you one more thing about saving files. Um, we can choose Save As or Save. And let me just put this on my desktop. Now, there are different formats that you can save in, and if your run is a simple run, the backup format is best. It creates a very compact file, and the backups are always upward compatible to new versions of Aspen. The other formats, um, APW and APWZ, are good for very complicated problems that are hard to converge, uh, but they are not upward compatible to new versions of Aspen. And they're also less compact. All right, it's going to give me a warning that it doesn't allow, it doesn't save restart information, but that's not important for a simple case like this. 
I get an option that I can save in that format in addition. Alright, 